Hey, this is Korean Che. In this video, I'm going to cover my week of stay in a tiny seaside town in Argentina called Puerto Santa Cruz. In the last video, after three hours of flight, waiting for two hours at a bus terminal and three hours of a bus ride, I arrived at a tiny seaside village called Puerto Santa Cruz with a population of around 4,000. My friend Junior greeted me at the bus terminal. Junior is an amazing guy. I got to know him and his girlfriend Diana when I was traveling to Echaeten, a small hiking village in the south of Argentina. We shared a taxi and he was a Taekwondo teacher. So he already knew about the Korean culture and we became friends. He invited me to his town so I visited him. I'm going to stay here from Sunday to Friday morning. So he took me to the shore and showed me around the town. It was 10 p.m. but the sun was still setting because the latitude was about 50 degrees south. So the sun set really late in the summer. After the sunset, his father treated me with the welcome asado. Most of the kitchens in Argentina has asado place. His dad's asado was fantastic. The next day morning, we went to allegedly the best factura place in the town. Factura is an Argentinian sweet pastry. I also explained in this Argentinian food video. Six facturas were 350 pesos, which is one dollar. Insanely cheap. They were enough for three of us to have breakfast. A couple of hours later, we had tomato pasta for lunch. And after lunch, me, Junior, Diana, and her family went to this national park right next to us called Monte Leon. It was only 40 minutes away from the village. The park had a beautiful landscape with sandstone cliffs, rocks, and islands along the coast. First, we went to the Gravel Beach and had family time, grabbing a homemade pasta frola de membricho, which is a quince pie and mate together, of course. I thought membricho was kind of like a berry, but it was a quince. I liked it a lot. Then we walked around the park. The massive sandstone cliffs felt like I was in a movie scene. Laos. I saw so many guanacos there too. Guanaco is an animal that is close to llama, mostly living in Argentina. Then we drove back home and rested for a few hours. Senor showed off his party lighting from the astronaut figure he had. After getting some rest for a few hours, we all gathered to have dinner together at, yes, 1 in the morning. Argentinians eat dinner late and it gets worse in the summer since the sun sets late. We made burgers with the asado, put vegetables between the buns, and had them. Yeah, the food was good, and then the dinner ended at 2.35 in the morning. The next day, we had facturas as breakfast at 1 in the afternoon, like yesterday. Then I went to get a haircut from Junior's friend, Gabriel. Gabriel was from north of Argentina, Misiones, 
and came to Puerto Santa Cruz to serve in the Navy. He was a really cool guy. So he learned how to do a haircut in the Navy. He told me the haircut was on the house, but I paid him. The haircut was 700 pesos, which is less than $2. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, you're like just a beaver now. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and we stopped by the only supermarket in the town, grabbed some groceries, and came back home to have lunch. For lunch, we had panchos, which are Argentinian hot dogs. On the regular sausages and hot dog buns, they add a bunch of sauces and cheddar cheese and sprinkle cracked potato chips on the top. Then the pancho becomes really crispy and delicious. In the evening, we drove to an animal farm of Junior's brother-in-law, 30 minutes away from the town. It was a pastoral and tranquil farm next to the river. They raised many different species of animals, so I took a look with Diana and practiced some animal names in Spanish. Chancho is siempre como una persona que come mucho. Sucio. Sí. Universal. In Argentina, before the barbecue, people eat a ham and cheese board called picada and make themselves not hungry. So we ate some ham, salami, and cheese. We tried to make a fire to do some barbecue. We succeeded in making a fire, but his brother-in-law had something going on, so he couldn't make it. So we left the place without having the barbecue. So instead, Diana went to her house to have dinner with her family, and Junior invited his friend Carlos to have dinner together. He was from a city called Santiago del Estero in Argentina. He was a singer and his band was in the town. We made a criollo, which is a grilled meat in a big pot with onions, and ate the whole thing. Of course, eating the freshly cooked meat with the bonfire was absolutely bomb. So we were chilling, drinking wine, and eating the criollo, and we had dinner until 3 in the morning. The next day, I was late in the morning, and in the afternoon, Junior took me to his work. So Junior teaches Taekwondo in the evening, but in the daytime, he works at an airport as a meteorologist. So I looked around the airport. After his work, we went to a little drive, and we walked on a cute trail with Mate, of course. That's me trying the local berry called Calafate. That's why there's a city called El Calafate, because it's a regional fruit. Come here, so I will teach you something. Como With the tongue, then the, the chips, spit it out. <laughs> we went back to the airport around the sunset and watched the sunset. It was the best view spot in the town since it was the highest point. And for dinner, Carlos invited us to his house for an asado. His asado was honestly amazing, like really good. He treated us to a full course meal, starting with a mixed salad and appetizers made of different vegetables. Then an asado of so many different parts of meat, starting with chorizo, morcilla, asado, basio, and more. By the way, I have a whole video that contributed to Argentinian food. Check this out. Then for dessert, he treated us with arroz con leche, which is rice with sweet milk, and patata dulce con queso, which is sweet potato with cheese. Both are popular desserts in Argentina, and they were both good. Drinks, of course, we drank Fernet and Coke and wines. As you might know, I'm a big foodie, and I really appreciated his treat. Then at 1 in the morning, Shunyo, Diana, and I decided to go out on Wednesday night. So we went to one of the few bars in the town. There were a couple of people playing pool, but mostly empty. There was a very adorable dog that I was super distracted by. Easy morning with facturas and late lunch with pizzas. Since today was the last day, I, we decided to go to Penguinera to check out the penguins. 
Benguinera was a natural habitat for penguins in the area. They say the penguins migrate to the north and the south of Puerto Santa Cruz. This was my second time seeing penguins in nature after the beach in South Africa. I'm a big animal person and watching penguins just make me happy. We went to Diana's family's place to have some drinks for the farewell. We were drinking champagnes and fernets. I, well, I had a night bus at 4.30 in the morning on Friday and a flight to Buenos Aires at 2 p.m. Then Junior and Diana's dad, who's a fisherman, were talking about boat fishing on Saturday. I'm like, what? Boat fishing? I want to go boat fishing. Are you sure that you're going to go boat fishing on Saturday? I'm in. But I had a bust and flight next day. So guess what happened? Check it out in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, please like and subscribe to my channel.